just know you don't have to sell yourself short before God to come up with worldly treasures, with fame, with fortune, you know, with wealth and riches and 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 nice things. You don't have to. You don't have to sell yourself short before God. Go to God and ask God, you know, Lord, let your will be done in my life. Let me have the things that you deem necessary for me to live um, a peaceful life, a holy life, a blessed life here on earth. You don't have to sell yourself short. If if what you're going, if if your goals and what you're going for, and and those um, things you're trying to obtain, cause you to set aside your morals and values, cause you, you know, to compromise your relationship with God, it's not important. Those things are not important. Nothing on earth should be more important, or should be above. <clears throat> your right standing with God, your relationship with God, you know, being pleasing in the eyes of God. If anything that you're um, focused on obtaining or motivated to get or determined to accomplish causes you to look foolish before God, causes you to look sinful before God, causes you um, to look immoral before God, then something is wrong and you need to sit down and adjust your sight, adjust your goals, adjust <clears throat> your focus so that what it, whatever it is that you're trying to obtain, whatever, whatever it is that you want to get out of life, whatever it is that you're searching for, going for, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish should be those things that are, that are godly, you know? You can still come up on earth. You can still have nice things on earth, but there's a way to do it. There's a way to get it. There's turn to God and ask God to lead you and to guide your foot on the path that leads to his glory, his goodness, his will, the things that he, he deemed necessary for you to live, you know, and don't look towards the world showing you all of the worldly riches because it's not worth it. Nothing on earth is worth your place in heaven. Nothing on earth is worth your place in the Lord's heart. Nothing on earth is more important, you know, is, is worth giving up the glory of God when it comes time to stand before him and um, walk through the gates of heaven in everlasting life. Nothing on earth is more important than that, you know. <clears throat> so, if what you're doing causes you to compromise who you are before God, readjust. Take a moment, readjust, reassess, you know, go to God, ask him for forgiveness and ask him to lead you correctly um, by way of the Holy Spirit in your heart. And he'll do it and he'll grant you that prayer. <clears throat> but, but yeah, that's, that, that, that's what I was thinking of. That was conversation for the past couple of days. Just, you know, know your place before God, you know, <clears throat> seek righteousness, you know, and don't let anything in this world, don't let anybody in this world persuade you, provoke you, tempt you into giving up your place in heaven, into giving up your place in God's heart into having you compromise your morals and values, <clears throat> your godly morals and values. Have you out here looking foolish before the kingdom of heaven, you know, doing things that you know in your heart is wrong, you know, but you do them anyway because you're desiring worldly sufficiency, worldly happiness, because it's, it's not. It's not worldly happiness and and the things of the world are temporary. You want the permanent. We want things, things of God that are permanent, you know, godly happiness, godly um, glory and goodness, the fruits of the fruits of the kingdom of heaven. Those are the things that are permanent. That's where true happiness come from. These things of the world, if it causes you, you know, to to look foolish before God, that's not happiness. You know, because at the end of the day, when you go behind closed doors and it's just you and you thinking about the things that you've done to get the things that you, you have, 
<clears throat> or the things that you're trying to go for, you know, the world is not right there with you behind closed doors when it's just you and God and you feeling bad and convicted in your spirit for the things that you're doing, you know, be strong enough, be strong enough to say, no, I stand with God. I stand for the things that are right. And what, and what the world is offering is not as important as what God has called me to do or what how God has called me to live or how God has called me to be. And that's something just to think about, <clears throat> you know, is maturity. We can't, you know, you can't live at a certain level all your life. You have to mature and grow in Christ, you know, and stand, <clears throat> stand for what is right and not be afraid to say no to some things. You know, you can't say yes to everything. Sometimes you just got to say no. No, that's not, you know, conducive to me living a righteous life before God the way that he's called me to live. Or no, I can't do that because that's going to make me compromise who I am before God. Or it's going to make me compromise my morals and values. And I'm trying to be different. I'm trying to live different. I'm trying to, you know, do different. I'm trying to, you know grow in, in the Lord and, and grow in the word and grow in the king. Those are the things that are of important. You know, it's okay to say no. No to anything that makes you compromise who you are. No to anything that makes you, you know, <clears throat> live different than what how God has called you to live. So, yeah. You don't have to sell yourself short before God. You don't have to. The, the you know the world may want want you to but we know who who works in this world and we know what he's about and what his kingdom is about you know the devil ain't about nothing nice he, he gonna give you nice things but those nice things come with a price and the price is giving up your place in the kingdom of heaven the price is <clears throat> bonding yourself to the chain to the gates of hell you know to hellfire though that's the price that's the price that come with sacrificing um, your morals and values to obtain <clears throat> the things of the world that go against God, right? I'm not saying you can't have nice things. I'm not saying it's a sin to want nice things. And no, you, you, God wants you to have nice things, you know, but he wants you to have nice things within the scope of his word within the scope of his guidelines within the scope of righteous living you know if you're going to get nice things and you are here prostituting yourself selling yourself or you know committing wickedness and evilness to to do it <clears throat> then you know prostituting yourself for the devil you know what i mean and 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 selling yourself selling your soul for the devil you know, just to come up on earth. That's not, that's not how God wants you to be. That's not, that's not the godly goodness, right? No, that you're not doing that in the name of the Lord and for the sake of the kingdom. And, you know, for the glory, you doing that for self, for vain, for pride, for sin. That That's what that's being done for. God wants you, he wants you to have, you know, a glorious life. But we first have to understand what a glorious life in Christ is, a glorious life in, in the Lord is. <clears throat> Once you have that understanding, then you will come to see, I don't have to do this or do that, you know, just to be happy here on earth or just to, you know, it's not about obtaining, you know, um, material. It's about obtaining the glory and the goodness of God in your heart first. And then once you obtain that, everything else in life will fall into place. <clears throat> All the things that you want, you know, that you're praying to God for, that you're seeking, will fall into place accordingly after you obtain the glory and the goodness of God in your heart. So you don't have to sell yourself short. Because guess what? The glory and the goodness that God is going to give you is far better than <clears throat> anything that the world has to offer. Far better. There is a peace that come with it. You know, there is a peace and there's a, a joy that comes with knowing, you know, that I'm rock, walking, rocking right with the Lord. Yep, walking right with the Lord. You know, <clears throat> that I'm living, that I'm living in accordance to the word of God. And he will provide. And then it comes with becoming content with what God provides. 
See, the world wants you to think in in greed and in abundance and in worldly abundance and greed <clears throat> and lust. But God wants you to be content, content with what he provides because he know what he gives you is enough for you and what he's called you and how he's called you to live. So anyway, just don't sell yourself short. You don't have to. You don't have to compromise who you are to come up. You know, you don't have to you don't have to set aside, you know, your foundation in Christ to come up. You don't have to, okay, well, I'm going to do this and do this, and then I'm going to come back and do this. You don't have to do that. If you stick with God and you walk with Christ and you live according to the word and you let the Holy Spirit be your guide and be your foundation, you know, and lead you the way, lead you by the word, you're going to be all right. And, 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 and you're going to accomplish goals and you're going to do great things for the kingdom and you know, you're going to live in glory and in the goodness um, of God. So, yeah, on that note, have a great one.